Yeah, yeah he shot a lot of people on top. A oh, young white boy too. There's a lot of people dead in Hell there. yeah. Hell yeah. He shot a lot of people up in there. Oh my god. Yeah, he shot a lot of people in there. Oh my god. Wow. He a terrorist or something. Yo, he gotta be a terrorist. Oh my god, he shot so many people in there. Wow. Yo. Oh. Wow. Wow. Yep. Wow. I would be lying to you if I just said that the guns aren't the issue. To say the guns aren't the issue, the gun laws aren't the reason for these shootings. Meanwhile, other countries don't have this issue. I would accept if every other country had this issue. Everyone struggled with shootings. But when other countries don't, you look at them and see what are they doing different? Why do we have such high gun violence? And one of the outliers of the United States is that we have guns or more lax gun laws relative to them from Japan to Denmark. So why not change it or why not propose some fixes? The only people I see advocating for the gun law reform are people like Beto O'Rourke. Sit down, I don't don't play the stuff. Stuff. The next shooting is right now and you are doing nothing. No, you need to get his out of here. This isn't the place to talk to this over. This is totally predictable. He protested for something, just some, just fucking recognize that there is something wrong. That's it. He, 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 he gave an outline. We need to ban the AR-15, universal background checks. If we do not, you are held accountable. Greg Abbott, Ted Cruz. Beto O'Rourke is the only person I've seen who proposed actual quantifiable policies, not thoughts and prayers. Meanwhile, people like Ted Cruz are blaming the doors. Do you want to talk about how we could have prevented the horror that played out across the street? Look, the killer entered here the same way the killer entered in Santa Fe, through a back door, an unlocked back door. I sat down at round tables with the families from Santa Fe. We talked about what we need to do to harden schools, including not having unlocked back doors, including not having unlocked doors to classroom, having one door that goes in and out of the school, having people like Candace Owens blame the transgenders. Ted Cruz said we need to teach the Bible more. That is why these shootings occur. They look everywhere else except for the guns. If you can't admit that the guns are a pillar, if you could just say they are an issue, but I don't want that to infringe on my freedom. It's not worth it to me. I would at least have respect that you're honest with me, but to lie directly to our face and say it's the doors, the transgenders, you are avoiding the true issue because you're probably being paid out by the NRA. Gun lobbyist, you are a shill for a company they are lying to you. If they say and, and avert any sort of root causes of gun control and gun laws and all of that, they're lying to you. The NRA isn't even hiding it. They, per they, they put people on a pedestal to know that they're not touching your guns. Here's our grades. Here's our ratings. Here are the people you should vote for because they love us. That's the Ted Cruz's, the Greg Abbott's. They don't care about you. And then if they, if they don't say it's guns, they say it's, it's mental health. Yet they propose nothing after that. They just say mental health. Okay, end. Mental health, end. Silent. Nothing. Mental health, 
and a solution would be nice like the people like Beto O'Rourke, Chuck Schumer, Bernie Sanders, they propose single payer system, a Medicare for all, something, something to help with mental health. Because our healthcare needs reform, mental health is part of that. What are they proposing? Give me policies. I don't I don't want nice fluffy words. I want policy. Healthcare is the reason for these shootings. Okay. How do we fix it? Well, we do this, this, that. Or we do this, this, that. Don't just say it's healthcare. Don't just say it's doors. Talk to me like an adult. I can propose a list of changes. Universal background checks. Ending the gun show loopholes. Just something quanti quantitative, I guess. Something you can digest. Not just... People are crazy. Boo-hoo. I had somebody legitimately tell me that this is just... You can't legislate evil. Like, we shouldn't have laws against murder. We should just, we, just evil people out there. Whoopsies. If there was, like, infringing gun rights just throughout history, like, our U.S. history, we've we've consistently have just scrutinized guns and nothing's changed, I, I would be sympathetic. I would say, wow, I guess it doesn't work. But we haven't even done that. Since Sandy Hook, what have we done to stop gun violence? I, I don't, I'm on a state level, I'm sure every state has their own, you know, tail, but I don't know any federal bans of anything. Other than even Trump, the only Republican I can think of that proposed any sort of gun legislation banned bump stocks. That's it. That's the only thing I can think of. And if someone can send it to me, please, because I, I legitimately don't know anything. But I can tell you, in 2004, the assault rifle ban was lifted. ARs used in gun, gun violence increased tenfold. I can pinpoint that data. I can show you statistics. I can't show you anything when someone says we need more Bible in school. That doesn't make sense. How would you legislate that? We need more fathers in homes. How would you legislate that? Quit treating us like babies and give us actual real policies. And I just feel like if they just addressed it, if they were just honest with me and said, I just like guns. I don't want any infringement on my weapons. I would respect it. But most people don't think like that. Do you want a baby to have a gun? Bam, you're for gun control. Because any sort of regulation of arms, which we should have, we should not have zero, we should have some regulation, is favored. Americans want some. Just as we get into a car, just as someone can't just drive a forklift, there is some insurance that they have been tested that they are capable of doing this. And finally, the point that's been seen everywhere since... I was born, I remember people saying this for Columbine, was the good guy with a gun. A guy with the, a good guy with gun will stop this. Well, we saw that in Texas it didn't happen. The police armed did nothing. We saw that in Vegas. The guy was on a 50-foot story window. How the fuck are you supposed to stop that? The police couldn't even stop that. In the Buffalo shooting, the killer got out of his car and shot four people, killing four people in four seconds. Even if you had the good guy with a gun scenario, which I believe there was, but, but say you had a quick draw guy there who had the accuracy of a Clint Eastwood in, in Good, Bad and Ugly. And say those four people got shot and you stopped it there. You still lost four people. Without the caveat of you being a damn John Wayne, you could have saved those people if the guy didn't have the fucking gun to begin with. That's all I'm proposing is that guy shouldn't have that gun. We should have been proactive rather than some guy who happened to be there who was able to gunfire, to quick draw and get this guy before he could get hit. Again, with the caveat that he probably could get hit before he can even recognize what's going on. Because four seconds, four seconds to, to, to stop a shooter. He killed four people. And, and that's the whole reason I wanted to make this video. Because I saw the shooter. I saw the video of him shooting the four people. Or he killed more. But the, the, the snippet I saw of him hopping out of his car. Shooting four people in, in like three seconds. 
My timing's probably off because it, it hurt to watch, but seeing how quick it was really made me awake a little. Like, it really woke me up to show, like, there's nothing you could do in that scenario. Those four people were going to die immediately. And then, of course, the people he killed after, there was nothing those, those beginning people could do. So we should have just saved them by having better gun laws, better mental health, actual changes. I want to show people because ever I, I wanted to make a video because I saw that video. I, I saw his live streaming of the, of the events and it, it inspired me to talk about this because honestly, I didn't care that the Buffalo shooting happened. I was desensitized from the gun violence. I just kind of took it as another one. Eh, another one. But I saw the video and it's it it hasn't it hasn't left my head. You couldn't stop that. You couldn't stop him. You can't you can't. I'm sorry. And even if you stopped him, there are going to be more. There's going to be more mass shootings cuz some at this rate we haven't stopped it. So why not just stop it here? Why not just nip it in the bud? Why why do you have to have this caveat of, I could have stopped it when you can't even stop those four? There's no way you could have stopped those four. My point of this all was it happened so quick. We could have kept them alive if we just kept him from having a gun. Will you be going to the NRA convention this uh, weekend and what's your message going to be if you do go? Yes, I'm going to be there. 